happened. So new live on the scene tonight. So new, how did the woman manage to get out of the water? Well, Heather, firefighters tell me this woman actually lives underneath in that culvert over there. It's kind of dark, so it's hard to see, but uh, firefighters tell me there's actually a group of homeless people that live underneath Orange Grove Road in that culvert over there. And today, when that hard rain fell, all of the water rushing down the Canyon del Oro wash here rushed down through that culvert and swept a couple people away. And that woman was one of them. She was swept away by the strong current. 47-year-old Linda Grow holds on for dear life, just waiting for rescuers to get to her. She can thank these two guys who called 911 after hearing her cries for help. She was just saying, help me, help me. And we didn't know what to do, so we called 911. It took crews just three minutes to get here. A little tricky trying to figure out the safest way to get her out of the swift current. It's ankle deep. We can walk out Where's with Pete? the door and get it. Water may look shallow, but if it's moving very fast and there's a lot of pressure with that flow, it can carry cars, and as you saw it, it carried this woman about 40 feet until she was able to grab hold of a tree, but the water was flowing, flowing so fast, it actually took her pants off and took them downstream. Rescuers threw her a rope and flotation device, lowered a ladder truck to reach her from up above. Very scary. What do you How think? fast that water is moving. While four of them attempted a shallow water crossing. Very risky maneuver, but they were successful. Gro was carried across the water and on to dry ground safely. My thoughts was that I'm just glad that she's all right and that we actually saved someone today. Gro has now been transported to the Northwest Medical Center and is being treated for hypothermia. She was extremely cold. Uh, she was beat up pretty bad from the pressure of the water. Right now. In stable condition tonight, a male companion who was also swept away in this strong current, we're told, was able to get out of the water, and he's doing okay tonight. Reporting live on the northwest side, Sonu Basu, KLD News 13, live local late breaking.